Welcome to the Bet MGM Studio and Training Camp Rewind, the first edition. This is Amy Wells. I'm Mike Keith. We're glad to have you with us as training camp is well underway for the Tennessee Titans. And Amy Wells, there's a lot of buzz. There's a lot of buzz. I love training camp. It's the start of the season, and everybody across the league has a fresh start. Mike, what have you seen in the first couple days of training camp? Three, Three things that really jump out to me. The, the defense playing awfully well for the Titans from the jump. In particular, the secondary has been very active, an area where the Titans needed to improve. The second thing, the newcomers. Peter Skaronsky, the rookie at left guard. Arden Key, an outside linebacker, a free agent signing. Aziz Alshire, inside linebacker, a free agent signing. All over, you can feel the impact of the newcomers. And then finally, the pass catchers. Whether that be wide receivers, whether that be backs out of the backfield or the tight ends, the pass catchers are making plays for the quarterbacks. Those are the things that have jumped out to me so far. Now, Mike, what has stood out to me is that no matter who you're talking to, what they're saying is they're ready for some football. I like winning. Um, and I, I think the, my fellow teammates like winning also. I know and believe that I'm a part of those talented guys. And I can, I can match up well with those talented guys. So it was, it's, a fighter, it's the fighter in me, and I'm not going to stop till I retire. At the same time, everybody's just out here grinding and having a good time. So I'm ecstatic to be back. I think, you know, guys are flying around. They got the pads on. They're hitting. They're thudding. And they're just being, being able to play football. Being able to play real football, physical football, our caliber football. You know, obviously, Ryan trusts me to come down with it. And hopefully, we can keep doing that to, to build that report. But just take it one day at a time. Continue to want to improve and get better every day. And then let the chips fall where they may. Keep working, doing the right things day in and day out, on the field, off the field. But excited for the opportunity and the pieces that we have. Learning new teammates, you know, building the culture that we've always had, but obviously with some new guys added in. Uh, so it's exciting. It's an exciting opportunity, uh, and, and that's what I'm excited about. But at the end of the day, you know, our job is to come together as one, and they know it. Now, Mike Keith, are they backing up what they're saying with what they're doing? Oh, I think so. I don't think there's any doubt about it. I want to focus on two position groups on this edition of Training Camp Rewind. I want to talk about the offensive line, and I want to talk about the wide receivers. And of course, if we're starting at wide receiver, you've got to talk about what has been the number one storyline of the last few weeks, and that is the addition of DeAndre Hopkins. Absolutely, and while it's been so much fun to see 10 on the field, I'm more excited about what's happening for Traylon Burks and how much the two of them have been spending so much time together. Burks has had a great offseason. He has done a fantastic job getting prepared for camp. The addition of DeAndre Hopkins not only provides another weapon and another really good example for him to how to be that number one receiver, but the complement of the two takes pressure off Burks. It also means that Hopkins doesn't have to come in and feel like he has to do everything. I think the improvement of Traylon Burks and the addition of DeAndre Hopkins makes this a much more exciting group overall in terms of the explosive nature of the offense. The Titans need more big gains in the passing game than what they had a year ago. Now, Mike, there are other guys in that receiver's room. Who else has stood out to you? Kyle Phillips. Uh, Kyle Phillips, of course, a second-year receiver out of UCLA, doing a really, really nice job in terms of being able to work in the slot, also doing a good job in practice in the red zone, something that you love to see. Nick Westbrook Akine has picked up where he left off. May not have as big a role in the receiving core this year, but it's proving that he can be counted on when the time comes. And then Chris Moore, free agent pickup from the Houston Texans. He's off to an outstanding start in camp. Now, you know what's caught my attention. It's not so much my eye, it's more my ears. It's wide receivers coach Rob Moore. He has been all over the field. You hear him coaching a lot. So we need to tell people. We need to show the people. Check this out. Full disclosure, I'm Mike. All right, Rez, keep playing fast, man. I right, look, I'm mic'd up too, so I'm mic'd up. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm mic'd up. Man, it's time to bring up that rash. You can't <laughs> Ball security. Come on, man. High and tight. Don't be scared. Don't, Don't be scared. scared. Come on now. Don't, Don't be scared. Real. Go, Racy. Speed, baby, speed. Be physical. Good. Good. Hey, this is my favorite day right here. There we go. Good. Oh. Good. Squeeze it. One, two. Settle. Keep your pad level down now. 
Slam foot. There you go. There you go. All right, here we go. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Speed, speed, speed. Then one to it. One to it. There you go. There you go. Good decision, baby. Good decision. Hands, baby, hands. Hey, give me a hop. Trey, hop and Trey. There you go. Hey, you see how you see how he brought it in there? Then when he came back out, it was good timing. That was really good timing. Come on, go! Run! Get over there! Go! All right, let's go, man. Let's go. Go, go! Go! Get up field. Good job. Good job, fellas. Good job. Good job. Hey! Hey, hey! Come here. Come here. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. All right, that's, hey, that's good work, fellas. Wide out, so three, one, two, three. Mike, it seems obvious that the receivers are in great hands with Rob Moore. But now I think it's time to switch gears because I would also like to talk about the offensive line and what you've seen out of that group in the first couple days. So far, so good. I, I think Peter Skaronsky settling in at left guard, as I mentioned earlier, has been one of the real keys. They've put him in there. He's already taking to it well. Aaron Brewer looks more natural at the center position than he did at guard last year, and that's not unexpected. Daniel Brunskill is doing a good job at the right guard spot. He's a free agent signing from San Francisco. The tackles, you know, that's the area where people are gonna have a lot of focus. Andre Dillard at the left tackle spot, kind of trying to get into that flow, coming from Philadelphia, going from being a backup to hopefully becoming a starter. And then obviously there's the right tackle situation because Nicholas petit Frere is suspended for the first six games this season. Now, Mike, you've been so interested in this position group that you actually had the opportunity to sit down with offensive line coach Jason Hotailing and talk about what he's seen out of his players in the first part of training camp. Take a look. Peter Skaronski getting his work at left guard consistently. How is he progressing? Well, he's doing a great job working. You know, he comes out each and every day with a plan, what he's going to work on, some technique stuff, some fundamental stuff. Uh, he plays with really good effort and finish. Um, and he just continues each and every day to go out there and, and battle. And, and you know, um, the guy across from him is doing a pretty good job helping him there. You know, there's a, that phrase, iron sharpens iron. And, and those guys, the competition level is really high. And um, just watching Pete. Uh, go out each and every day and work on fundamentals and finish and effort and, and uh, communication, all those things that go into uh, playing offensive line. He's doing a really good job there. You're talking about the guy who plays across from him on most snaps, you're talking about Jeffrey Simmons. Early on, especially in OTAs, it looked like it was all Simmons, but now it's kind of evening up a little bit. Fair? I think they've, uh, they, they obviously you know, the competition is high there. And for, for Pete to go out there each and every day, uh, there's good, there's bad, you know, and, and we just every day focus on what we have to do to get better, you know. And, uh, you know, obviously you go out there, you look at those reps and, you know, where's your face, where's your hands, what are your feet doing? Like, it's just a process there for him. And, and the competition level, like I said, I think he's competing and uh, he, uh, he's done a good job with those challenges. The feeling in the off season was that Aaron Brewer moving from left guard to center would be more in his element, would be more comfortable. Is that what you're seeing? Yeah, I think Brew, I mean, from a comfortability level, I have to talk to Brew. But from what I see, you know, not want to speak for him, what I, what I see is him playing fast, him playing physical, him doing what he's supposed to do. Um, his communication's been good. So, you know, just seeing that transition, which we saw it last year, you know, going into the Green Bay game on, on a short week and all those things. So, you know, Brew, uh, like I said, from a comfortability level, I don't want to speak for him, but it looks to me like he's reacting quickly. And uh, when you're reacting quickly and, and playing with physicality and, and effort and finish, you usually feel pretty comfortable. Most of the questions you get are about the right tackle situation right now. How long do you feel like you can continue to spread reps before you figure out who the guy is? I mean, I don't think there's a timetable right now. We're just continuing to evaluate. You know, the pads just came on, so the full evaluation, obviously, uh, it, it, when the pads are on, it's a little easier for us to look at it from a, from a big picture standpoint. But, you know, just keep working those guys and, and uh, see who's doing their job best. And, you know, from a timetable standpoint, you know, coach hasn't given us one of those, and we're just going out there and evaluating and playing and practicing and working on fundamentals. How has the rookie Jalen Duncan done so far? He's good, doing a good job. You know, he, you know, it's a transition for him. You know, uh, he's, uh, you know, whatever he's working each day, each and every day, it's a fundamental. Or we come out here, hey, we're going to focus on this today. We're going to focus on that today. And I think he's doing a good job communicating with the vets. You know, again, I don't want to speak for him, but what I see is him talking to guys on offense, talking to guys on defense, trying to uh, get some information from these guys who have done it for so long. And uh, some of those can be pretty valuable tips. 
Time to see what we're posting. We're posting you with a legend. A lot of great former Titans come out to Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park for camp. Amy Wells had a chance to visit with the Titan, Eddie George, as he came out to discuss what's going to happen and what's important in the first part of camp. Eddie George, it is always so good to have you here at Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park. And what does this team need to get done? Um, I think acclimation, one. I think you go from that, that next phase of OTAs into camp and then that carryover. You want to see that carryover in terms of chemistry that's been developed in camp. Um, you've got some new bodies that came in, you know, DeAndre Hopkins, you know, whoever the quarterback's going to be right now, Ryan Tanny, you want to see how that, that chemistry is going to happen. You have some bits and pieces and parts you're trying to put together from a roster standpoint. Um, you know, you know, you know what you're going to get out of, out of your, your mainstays and Derrick Henry and uh, some of the other guys. So he probably won't get as many carries as he, or many opportunities. Um, because he's a key veteran, because you know what he can do. You want to keep him healthy for the season. The guys who are really learning how to practice together are those younger guys. A guy like Tajay Spears. You've been a young running back in the National Football League. He's a rookie just kind yeah. of figuring out how this is all going to work. What is it important for him to learn in the first couple weeks of camp? Uh, the pace of play. I'm um, pretty sure, you know, the first day in pads, he's probably running full speed, you know, during the walkthrough. So it's just getting the, the energy right and having that level, level off. It's full of butterflies. It just, I mean, any young person is coming in. They want to impress. They want to do anything and everything above and beyond the call of duty just to, to be ready and to, to serve and, and to make your name, you know, um, uh, with an organization. You can watch all of Amy's interview on YouTube. That's going to do it for this edition of Titans Camp Rewind. Be sure to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. We're on all of the socials. All of the socials. For Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keefe, and we'll see you next week for another edition of Titans Camp Rewind. Thanks for watching.